Hey guys, so I am back with my computer and today we are going to learn another interesting topic. So today we will learn how we can add a beautiful scroll bar to our main GUI window. So without any ado, let's get started and let's open PyCharm. So here I have this code from my previous video. If you haven't watched it yet, then you can find the link of that video in the i button now. And if you haven't accessed my Python programming playlist, then you can find the link of that playlist in the description below as well. So let me delete this code and here what I will do is first of all I will uh, import tkinter and I will import everything. I will use I will set root is equals to tk or let us set screen equals to tk. We can use any variable names okay so as we know you can use any variable name that you are comfortable with. So I am comfortable with this screen so I will use this screen in here. Now here let us create a text widget which we already have uh, used in our previous video. So here I will use text, uh, I will set this text to root and then I will simply pack this text here. Okay, so we have this text widget which will not root here, this time it is screen. So what this uh, pack will do, so this pack will basically um, this pack will basically render that uh, text in here and the important thing is what this text will do. So this text is the widget which we have used before. So this text is uh, this widget. Okay, so we get a uh, text area. So we get this type of text area and here we can type. So this widget is just up to this level. So we, okay, so let me run this again. Okay, so this widget is like this and we do not have any scroll bar right now the output which we saw before was from another file and that's why it was coming so currently we don't see any output uh, or any scroll bar here so what if i will paste this like this okay what if i write something like this how can i access those things okay so i cannot i cannot access those things okay as you uh, as you can see so first thing we need is this text area to be filled and it can be expanded as we increase or decrease the size of window. So this is the first task. So it is easy as we have learned before. I will simply add here. I will simply add expand equals true. And I will simply add another uh, property which is fill equals both. So that means now whenever we uh, expand our window, we can see the output as you can see the output we have this text area so now let us uh, write some text like hi okay and simply copy it you can simply copy this text and as you can see now we have this text here and now let me increase the size so as you can see our window is increasing and decreasing our uh, text widget is increasing and decreasing its size and so uh, that's something that we are doing here but now what we need is we need a scroll bar for that i will add a variable scroll in which i will set the scroll bar which will be in screen again and then what i will do is i will use scroll dot pack here so scroll dot pack to render it in the screen now here is a, a basic Thing that we need to add as well we need to add side equals to right because I want my taskbar or uh, not my taskbar my scroll bar in the right side and I will also add another property which is fill equals y I will also add this because I want this uh, scroll bar to be filled totally in my y axis and in my y axis I want the uh, scroll bar to be uh, placed and that's why I have used side equals to right and fill y that means it, it will be filled against or along the y axis so that's something that we can add and now if i will run it you can see this scroll bar currently we can we are not able to use it so let us add some text like uh, let's say i have added some text like this okay now let us select and copy and now we can paste this text so as you can see we are going further and further but our scroll bar is not working so as you can see it is not working so how we can make it work so to make this scroll bar work what we need to do is we will simply add a 
y scroll command here so y scroll command and i will set that to scroll dot set that means we are setting our scroll bar to this text widget okay so we are setting our scroll bar to this text widget with using this y scroll command uh, property or this uh, you can say this uh, parameter and our argument and here what i will do is i will use scroll.config so this scroll.config will help us to configure all those things regarding the scroll bar so here i will set command which will be equal to my text.y view and what is this text.y view i will not uh, execute the function here i will simply pass the reference so this text.y view means the y side or y axis of this text widget okay and here we have set that to y scroll command equals to scroll dot set okay so with that we should be able to use our scroll bar right now so let us run this code and here if i will add some text again like this let's say okay so let us add some text like this and now if i will select that and if i will copy it again and again so as you can see now we have our task uh, not our taskbar sorry our scroll bar now our scroll bar is working and as you can see we have the scroll bar fully functioning okay so here we have this scroll bar and as you can see our scroll bar is now uh, this height of scroll bar is this dark gray area but now as we add some things to this okay as our text area gets bigger it will decrease its size so as you can see here Okay, so now our gray area is much shorter, our uh, uh, scroll bar is much shorter. So just like that, we can add our scroll bar. Okay, we can add our scroll bar and we can set its functionality. And here we have added the scroll bar in vertical, uh, you can say position or alignment. Now let us try that same with horizontal scroll bar. So here I will add orient, orient stands for orientation. Here I will add horizontal and instead of setting y, comma, y scroll command, I will set x scroll command and instead of setting y view, I will set it to x view because, because now we want to handle the x axis of that widget. Now let us run it. So as you can see, we have this scroll area which is still on the right that we don't want. So here I want the side to be bottom and I want fill to be x. Now let us save it and let us run it. So now as you can see we have the uh, scroll bar at this bottom and if I will add some text like this, okay, so let's go here and let's add text like this, okay. So currently we can, cannot see any text area here because uh, this text is not going further and that's why we are not seeing this uh, scroll bar here but if this text uh, passes the uh, screen from, uh, from the right side obviously then our uh, scroll bar will be working okay so just like that we can add scroll bars in different directions and different uh, styles so you can simply do one thing you can instead of horizontal let us keep it vertical okay so let us keep it vertical the side should be let's say left now you can add your scroll bar in left with fill y here we will change this x view to y view here i will change this x scroll command to y scroll command and now here as you can see we have the scroll bar in left side so if i will add something like that okay our scroll bar is not working right now so let us have a look why our scroll bar is not working so uh, let us remove this orient here save it now let's run it okay so i think there is some problem in this scroll bar now let us have a look we have command equals text dot y view that's perfect we have y scroll command to scroll dot set that is also perfect we have side equals left and field equals y and that is accurate as well so let us try with right side now let's run it 
okay i'll copy it and i will paste that down here okay so yep so it should work i just didn't check that uh, let us now run it okay so now if i will add some text like that okay so as you can see our scroll bar is now working so as you can see now our scroll bar is working here like that okay so just like that you can add scroll bars to your gui window and uh, that, that was something that we needed so uh, that was it for today guys and thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next video